all right so here we go there is a special tool and we'll go over this once once I get this out but you'll have to make or buy but here's the belt it's not very big but it's pretty thick and it's pretty wide so let's try and snake this thing out of here um, there is let's see there is a tensioner pulley right here you put a 15 millimeter on it and it's just like any other tensioner pulley for a serpentine belt So we had a huge rainstorm come through. Um, I mean, it just poured. Anyways, so I think I finally got this on. And man, what a pain in the butt. I think I, yeah, I think I got it all on. So, uh, I guess let's take this little tensioner off. And again, I'll show you how I show you how I did it. See, that's all it is. Um, clamps in there like this, and then whenever you tighten this bolt, it kind of squeezes it together. Um, I had to put some extra reinforcement down here because it was starting to bend this out. But um, yeah. So, that's how I made that. It's nice and tight now. So, let me start it. And the air box is over here, so. But I wanna make sure that that stays on. So there you go. Um, once you get this clamped on there, the hardest thing is getting enough leverage. Uh, let's see, this is a 15 millimeter. And the way to do it is get your wrench way down here. Once you get that wrench, see right there? That's not enough. You need to go one more notch down. From right there and then lift up that pulls that back and then that should be enough to put this back on so my air filter got ruined it's all wet so I gotta get a new air filter but at least the belts on and I don't have to worry about it nah, jacking up or nothing and while it was off, I felt everything. I didn't, I didn't feel anything that was jagged or or why that that broke. The only thing I can think of is um, maybe a rock got stuck in there because this is a a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure on there. Maybe a rock got caught in there, and instead of it breaking the pulley, it broke the belt. So, which is, you know, I'd rather it do that. But, um, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and button the rest of all this stuff together. And that's, that's how you do that. This, this goes for the 2.4 liter hybrid auto start or auto stop, whatever you want to call it.
GM. But that's what it is. <clears throat> Just a little gadget like that. Uh, again, I called the, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I called the dealer and they wanted $250 to do that. That belt was $29. This was free other than a bunch of frustration. Um, and this probably would have gone a lot faster building this, but there is something wrong with my plasma cutter. Like, look at this. Blowing out the side, blowing that up. That is crazy. It started doing that and I filed it off to see if I could catch it, but I don't know what's going on with the plasma cutter. I've, I've kind of always had problems with that. But, okay, well I'll button this up. That's how you do a, an oil change and change the servitine belt. So, hope this helps somebody out. Y'all comment, rate, and we'll catch you later. See ya. Oh, this is a Torx 25. A Torx 20 will work if those aren't tightened in there really tight. And something I did last time was I cut this little notch out so I could get to that one easier. But, okay. We'll catch you later. Y'all comment, right? See ya. So this is the information on that belt tensioner compressor, compression tool. It's made by Kent Moore Compression Tool EN48932. Um, I was going to try and call a local place Delco tool to see if they had something like that, but eh, I don't have to now. I made my own. But um, yeah, these were going from 200 and something dollars. Uh, let's see if we can look it up real quick. Yeah, see? $303.99 for that. What a ripoff. Just stupid. Gum ah. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Okay, I'm almost done. Thank you. Am I getting it? Okay. And there's one way down here. you had that in there like that you just oh all right guys there you go comment rate and if you're doing any maintenance 15 millimeter oil drain drain plug oil filter is one and a quarter inch i use fully synthetic 5w30 it does hold just a little over five quarts um, and I haven't drilled that in yet but and then uh, that's the oil filter I use so there you go alright y'all comment rate and we will see you later